Okay guys, this is going to be the portal pick a card for the Gateway Lion's Gate activating portal. What this means for you, okay, with your spiritual gifts, your spiritual abilities, your spiritual path, your spiritual healing, your spiritual journey, okay? We're going to do three groups. First group number one, Forest Breathe. Group number two, Dawn with New Beginnings. Group number three, Fairies, Earth Magic. As per usual, you might be drawn to more than one group. That's fine as well. They are general messages. They are collective messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest for the rest. It could pertain to your past, your present, or potential near future. Could even be touching bases or validating some past life thoughts or memories or dreams. Keep that in mind as well. So we're gonna pull two more cards out for each group. In group three, thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels. Fairies look like they want to make a cameo. Let's see what this card is. Synergy coming in for you guys, okay? Synergy within this wake up call. You might be realizing also what previous wake up, what previous things happened with a wake up call or and why it happened. And there's a release along with this because some of you guys are on your shamanistic path. You're on your on your path. You're obtaining ancient healing wisdom and blessings, okay? It's a need to focus. Not so much on the reflection at this time. Forward movement after focusing. Uh, don't worry about the past. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, right? And if it keeps popping up, use your power to ignite that healing modality that's needed within it, okay? Um, let your intuition guide you. So... Activation, yeah, going through an activation from your ancestors with your ancestors, okay? So um, I will be right back with group number one. All right, group one. So in the meantime, while you guys are waiting for me to come back, I pulled a bunch of other decks out, okay? I've got four over here to the side I was drawn to use. <coughs> and I think we're just going to shuffle and pull from them as we go through the read okay all right so the forest breathing connecting with nature if you're coming from my previous pick a cards and any of the zodiacs that was a main message as well i think it was a moon message pick a card it's the pick a card before this one that's not related to any of the zodiac signs i think i'm pretty sure but anyways something about getting into nature, connecting with nature, even just looking at pictures of nature, li listening to sounds of nature on the phone, because I know it's hot as hell outside right now, okay? It's hard to get outside and stay outside for longer than what you really need to. In the evening time, too, here would be beneficial, but um, that's your sanctuary. That's where it's going to be for a room to breathe, right? When we connect with nature. Compassion and love and music and harmony love music forest okay what's coming to mind also are these little things on tiktok that i see where they've got this speaker and they clip to the plants and you can hear what the frequency is of the plant or the tree or flower that puts off maybe if you're not if you haven't seen that yet then you probably will in the coming days or weeks after this read okay you connect with music music helps you stay centered it helps you stay grounded it helps you find your heart center you may even think about picking up an instrument trying to play it maybe you do play instruments Let's get another card for this breathe here new beginnings you can breathe easy, easy and rest assured because there's new beginnings coming in for you have compassion for yourself and others through uh, a significant change we're all going through change here I'm seeing these Merkabas on here, and I have one here also that's Tiger's Eye. So looking into Tiger's Eye could be relevant for you using Tiger's Eye. And your health. Then I have forgiveness, financial discipline, and perseverance. 96, 48, number four. Perseverance through your health, okay. Uh, it's detrimental to your health. Also holistic approach are using frequencies to help you with your health as well. There's a new beginning in your health journey. Changes within your health. Safe, though, it is safe. Your health is, your health is safe. Stepping into leadership and pride. Yeah, you should be super proud of yourself, all right? Especially on your parenting note, okay? 
could be needing a little self-discipline in an area, self-discipline in learning to trust yourself and your inner knowing and your inner guidance. Let's just put these right here. There's a more compassionate, harmonious new beginning coming for you, okay? This change, uh, sometimes we fear change. Change isn't easy a lot of times. And our soul becomes fearful of change, right? Because sometimes when change happens, we seem to see the worst part or think the worst in a situation. Humble new beginnings is what I heard. Now I am shuffling the Halloween Oracle. This card fell off the bottom. We have Dawn. The light after the darkness. You might be drawn to group two too because I think group two was the Dawn card. Let me see. Group two, yeah. Dawn, new beginnings. Look at that. So they're starting to tie together as per usual. I'm going to leave this out though. The owl could be significance for you. The owl signifies wisdom, ancient healing wisdom, connection with the ancestors. All right, what other oracle card out of here for group one for the Lionsgate portal? Mommy, change. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the messages are repeating. We've got change and change twice here. Oh, spirit. Okay. Kind of like, what more can we say? There's change coming and there's a new beginning. Do not be scared. Do not be fearful. Okay, something's going to be illuminated for you. And whatever this is that's going to be illuminated, it's going to help significantly reduce burden for you. Okay, maybe someone's giving you forgiveness or maybe you're giving forgiveness, whether it's towards yourself or somebody else. And then we have intuition again with scrying, trusting your vibes, trusting what you're healing, hearing here within your own inner standing, having emotional intelligence, strength and clarity. There's joy coming for you, though. I want to show this card to Hearth. Happiness in our hearts and homes. Happy, happy, happy. On the bottom of the deck, we have Key to in Intimacy. If you would like to read that, you can pause and zoom in. Top of the deck is responding, not reacting with number nine. So there's a cycle involving your response reaction whether it's in time or how you're re choosing to respond or react or how you're reacting to a response. I don't know. Put it where it fits for you, okay? The only control we have is in how we respond to the hand we are freaking dealt. So, hey, this new change is inevitable. I'm going to let the cards fall as they may. I know it's happening for the highest truth and good for myself. I know it's supposed to happen. There's no need to fear it. One other card here. It's like mind, body, and soul. There's just significance here. With the breath, it reminds me of body. With compassion, it's like your soul. And harmony and music is whatever else that other one is. I think this is the one to come out. I knew this was going to come out for y'all. Radical honesty. To believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation, self-defeat, and self-denial. So there's a change within yourself, okay? You're put, putting down some shields, taking off some certain restrictive armor, okay? Letting down some certain walls, open, being open to being vulnerable, okay? This could be in a health situation too here, but also learning to put on the right armor for the right circumstances, if that makes sense. And we have forgiveness again. Hurt blocks our light. Eternal gatekeeper, spirit self, be who you are as you are. The card underneath it wants to show itself too. Sharing, there is giving and receiving and receiving and giving. Be who you are. Don't be afraid to be your true authentic self amongst your people, okay? Listen to your inner voice. You are here to be known, so speak and be seen. You are here to be known. Speak and be seen, group one. Something's activating within you. Being radically honest, vocalizing it here. Vocalizing the honesty, being truthful with people like, you know what? 
life's too short to not be honest. If something's bothering me, I'm going to let somebody know. If I think there's a better way of doing this for somebody, my suggestion is good, my opinion is good, my advice is good for them, I'm going to speak it. Because you're leading a legacy of light here coming out under health. This could be your mental health as well. Music helps all parts of ourselves sometimes, right? Listening for the truth through this legacy of light. You are a straight descendant of somebody. Could be a past life connection too. Actually, I feel like just reaching in this past life deck. Your baby, okay? So this is your legacy you're leaving here. Here's you, here's your child, here's your ancient ancestor guiding both of you, okay? Leading you towards something. Leading your children towards something. Something to do with spirituality and religion. Being open, the gatekeeper is open, the gate is open, okay? The legacy previously could have fought a lot of wars and battles within this arts, okay? This is considered an art, this practice that we do here. Tarot, oracle, crystals, spirituality, you know, whatever that part you're into that's not strictly dubbed as religious or religion. 1121 on the timer. Excuse my chug of lugs back here. You could have been a monk or nun in a past life. There could be something around uh, sensuality and sexuality maybe that's needing to be released. A vow of silence also could be needing to be released here as well. So if you can get on Google or YouTube, I mean, and look up, you know, releasing previous vows from a past life. I think Steve Noble has quite a bit of good good releases out there and you can turn it on as you're going to sleep or you know anymore i've just been playing stuff in the background i don't even sit and meditate to it but i do take those moments a couple of moments out of my day to just quiet and center myself if you do this if you quiet and center yourself then maybe you can hear them speaking to you okay you can heed the messages the advice or whatever they're trying to speak to you they speak to you through you for you Number seven here, number nine, one, five, 71. What else for group one? I feel like this card wants to come out. Yin Yang here, there's balance, okay? There's balance, this new beginning starting is gonna be more balanced, okay? No more fearing change. Consume, this radical honesty, this change in communication is going to consume you. Could be seeing vultures too. They're actually a really good sign. They're a really good omen because they s signify purification because they're able to eat very rotten things and they are a filter for it. You know, they don't never, it never hurts them, does it? They were made like that and protect. Okay, protect your health, protect your mental and emotional health. This could be disconnecting from people from their past as well. Yeah, freedom here. Porpoise, I think that is. Freedom from being constricted or fearful of death. <sighs> Patience. Okay, in divine timing. And the other card wants to come out. Energy. Patience and energy, okay. There's something here, a mystery of your power and energy, your time. You'll adapt to a situation just fine. I had fear and then adaptation. So, of course, fear of change, right? keep looking back over here at this deck so we're going to go back here to this deck don't disregard anything that you see either group one koalas playful it's a playful new beginning it's going to be very lighthearted for you maybe that's why we have the baby or the child card here earlier this one wants to again with the financial discipline Abundance. Healing. <laughs> Health. Healing. Okay. Healing. Healing your financials. Your uh, worries about money. Opening up to your own individuality. And going on an adventure. Yeah. Playfulness. I think this one wants to come out too. Pride. Be pride. Okay. Take pride. Be proud of yourself. Taking pride in knowing that you took a time out that you know you needed, right? Who's here with me? I feel like somebody's trying to enter my auric field. 
something around a love partnership as well. This could be a passed on loved one. Surrender to self-love. Yeah. So make the effort, make a conscious effort, make a conscious effort. If you want the relationship to change, we have to give what we get, right? Or get what we give, whatever, vice versa. Spirituality, patience in yourself and others. Patience and love as you're going through the spiritual upgrade. The synchronicities are going to really start pouring in for you as well. If you're not already seeing all the number synchronicities, I got 88, 55, and 66. If you've been seeing previously like the triple numbers, 222, 333, 11, 11, and now you're only seeing double numbers, this means you're taking a next step up in your mastery because you're here to build this legacy of light. You're here to leave. You're a path maker, a way shower a way maker, a path shower. I don't know. I don't know how that goes, but all these have pentacles on them too. Pentacles, tentacles. Everybody is different on their healing journey and their spiritual journeys. Okay. Everybody's cycles and their lessons around it. There's nobody here that's the same. With having financial discipline, you're going to find out that you have more room for adventure and that it doesn't necessarily have to cost an arm and a leg like we think it does to go on adventures, an abundance in adventures, an abundance in new beginnings in adventures. This is going to help somebody's health state significantly. And with the change here in the health and all the green here, you could be really drawn to like, you know, you could come across some abundance. Maybe somebody gives you... Um, a crop full of stuff, you know, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. Maybe you find it on sale really well, good, or you've come into, you know, a windfall of money where you're able to get the nece nece necessary nutrients and supplements that you need. This is all I have for you, Group One, though. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. If it did, hit the like and subscribe button for me, please. Greatly appreciate it. If you'd like a more in depth read on your past lives and your life purpose, also, or your spiritual gifts and healing and ascension. My contact information is below. And I feel rushed too here. So maybe that's what another thing is. There's in divine timing. There's no need to rush. You're not running out of time either. You don't have to hurry up and get something done. Group one, love and light. All right, group two. Those of you that chose dawn or new beginnings. <coughs> excuse me. Maybe you were drawn to group one as well because there was a, literally a card <coughs> from another deck that said dawn on it so let's see what you got going for group two with the Lionsgate portal what's opening activating what's leaving are you going to be running amok <laughs> we got the Lionsgate portal coming up financial discipline also came out for group one we've got change also came out I'm starting to wonder if I should have done a freaking pick a card on this um Spirituality, health. These three cards came out for group one as well. 777 here, but I forgot where I was going with that. You're teaching and learning right now. There's physical activity. You could be teaching aerobics, exercise. Maybe you've been thinking about doing this or getting into something. Moderating, moderating yourself on your perseverance. are these two cards ebb and flow and passion so there's a new passion coming in for you maybe that has something to do with um the physical activity moving around more creativity here <coughs> and a love partnership blossoming or reigniting adventures in a love partnership i love how we've got the land here in the mountains and then we have the ocean fire sign and water signs coming through and as well as earth signs you might want to look into my earth sign and air sign also reads take a cards that I put out even if you don't have any of those signs on your chart could be something there for you group two essentially also group two for you here group two for you over there on those as well ancestors the love and legacy of our DNA. <sighs> You're starting something new. You're changing traditions. You're changing methods of doing something. 
you're changing patterns within your ancestral DNA. By this winter, the sacredness of pausing. So this winter is going to be a little slow for you, but this is much needed. It's like you're going to be hibernating this winter and everything calms down in the winter, right? Connecting again like group one, connecting with pictures of water, uh, sounds of water, rain, um, being in water or near water if you have an option this winter. If you have an indoor pool area access, you can access to, that would be very beneficial. Something though to try to keep grounded, to help you stay grounded, stay connected with mother nature. Now it's still, she's still very beautiful in her winter months, is she not? The snow is just very pure and beautiful, right? There is risk, there's reward and a risk that you may need to take here. And you've got some unnecessary fear around taking the risk, okay? You'll be fine. And emotional intelligence with intuition again. Let's go on to the next deck. So for someone here, I feel like you're going to start being more mindful about your more conscientious, 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 I can't say it, conscious about your health and your financial, you know, budgeting, spending, prioritizing needs, you know, and then if you want something, get it. If you want something and you feel like it's too far out of your reach, though, make mindful movements towards saving for it or working towards it, right? Just don't overwork yourself in the process. Rest when you know you need to rest. Follow your own rhythm. Number five with this change. There's three cards here. We'll take them. There's new beginnings in your physicality here. New birth. Guarded vigilantly. Yeah. Learning to go with the ebb and flow. Be kind to yourself as you go through this significant transformation. Dream a beautiful dream. Coming over out under passion. So new fire igniting a new passion. Maybe it was something that you had started previously. I feel like it's been a couple of years for somebody here at group two. And now as you're going to start picking it back up, there's new creative juices flowing for you. In the world, not of the world. And you're going to be going beyond the normal, okay? These divinely guided ideas. Don't disregard them. Trust, okay? Because you're an inspiration to other people. When you start going down this path and you start having more confidence in yourself, you're going to help others have more confidence in them, themselves. And you're going to inspire them to want to do different or be different. Beyond the mind, the heart beats, and you're finally coming back to life, painting yourself back to life. The perfection of your life. And now maybe you're realizing, I can have a big, bold vision, and it's okay. Everything doesn't always have to be perfect. We don't always have to take things so seriously, right? And maybe it's not even financial discipline. Maybe it's a little more discipline within your own self-sabotaging tendencies and your talk. You've got collaborative, collaborative dreaming here with releasing alle allegiances. So you could be having dreams about... Uh, warfare or you know something that's igniting some kind of emotion within your dream state have faith in the process group two have faith in your process yours is very unique compared to anybody's others you're bringing something into form from the astral realm something is bringing into form so there's no reason if you're having scary nightmares though look into them okay as morbid as they may seem look into them um look behind spiritual meaning of the the emotion that it's igniting within you as well i feel like this card wanted to come out barn break sweetness and synergy though yeah this is going to be a smooth transition for you what deck do i not have yet i don't think i have this deck this little card's peeking out so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Radical Honesty came out for group one, too. No wonder why it was peeking out. <laughs> uh, spiritual hygiene is coming to mind here, too, with the spirituality and health next to each other. Two, a card flipped over. Wisdom and play. Here comes that train. Fried green tomatoes coming to mind. Our intuition knows more than we do. Number three, there's wisdom at play here. She
she can't see how she's pouring those cups. She can't see the cup in front of her. She can't tell if it's overflowing yet or not, but she's trusting herself. She's trusting her own inner knowing and her own inner nudges. Your ancestors are here to help you trust. Mother Gaia could have, uh, could have ties to the Fey realm as well. Could have had me messages about 2522 on the timer, by the way. Messages about being a fairy or some sort of elemental in a previous life. This is true. Actually, they just showed me a fairy deck. Let me, let me pause it and find it real quick. It was this one, Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. The name Karen could be of significance for somebody. May you discover your fairy wings inside the sanctuary of your precious heart. Oh, that's so sweet. So that's that playful energy too. When we start feeling really playful or whimsical, that's fairies could be around you. Fairies could be near. I think there's three cards here for you though. This is interesting that the fey realm is coming through in the middle of a read. This has never happened before. So you are very highly thought of group two. You're very loved. You're very regal. You were royalty in a past life. Okay, you could have been fairy royalty. All right, the need to find balance. Follow your own rhythm and finding balance within your own rhythm. You're going to find your way, okay? Just stay calm, I hear. Stay calm. Find the balance between your work, rest, and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Take a fucking nap, okay? And you know what? We might say, hey, I need like eight or ten hours of sleep at night. No, no, we don't. Honestly, we don't. I can run on a few days of having four to six hours of sleep at night. So when we say, oh my God, I only got four hours of sleep last night. I'm going to be so tired today. You're literally making it to be that you're going to be tired. So when you know you're going to have a little bit of lack of sleep, try to look at it in a positive. Okay, the water is going to help me. It's going to carry through, my, carry me through my day. Daddy's going to go by fast. I'm going to be rejuvenated. As soon as you wake up, you can say, my mind is clear and my body is well rested. My mind is clear and my body is well rested. And this is why maybe this is a power nap. Maybe somebody's pulling double night shifts or something. Temptation. Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty? This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever its guise. Guarded vigilante. Reach out for help if you have something. If you feel like you need to hide something or you feel ashamed of something, maybe we shouldn't be doing it anymore, right? And then this card, wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Call upon that inner fairy wisdom. You know what though? Group three had, they're, oh Lord. Group three had fairies, earth magic. So maybe you're drawn to all three groups. I don't freaking know. Is there anything else here? I'll like it when they fly out though. Music, group one had music. Listen carefully for there may be a message and the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door. Also, I'm feeling like maybe there was uh, like a jingle or something from your childhood, something that maybe is repeating in your head a lot. Protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. Dream a beautiful dream. So whatever you're wanting to dream into creation, to being, into your reality, it's, it's not that you should be ashamed or people are going to think you're wackadoodle. It's just better to keep them close to your heart and keep them to you. These passions, these new things that you're wanting to venture into because when we talk to other people about them and they think that they know better for, they know better than ourselves what's best for our own lives and, oh, I don't think you should do that. I don't know if that's a good idea. Do you really want to do that? Yeah, but what about this? And, you know, they want to point out the negative connotations on everything that's throwing doubt in your path. And then, of course, it does indeed, indeed throw doubt within yourself too, right? What's the card next? Life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. Sunshine and water. Water is life force energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. So with this Lionsgate portal, a lot of, I just heard the word insecurities, okay? Um, finding balance within temptation. I think I heard moderation in there too earlier. So finding moderation within this, these guises or whatever, okay? 
um, healing some insecurities, some old wounds could be reigniting and coming up for you. Um, shedding light on your darkness. So a little bit of dark night of the soul or a little bit of shadow work here too. Now, uh, there is such thing as something called the villain era. So you could have, you know, like really just on a tangent, you know, getting irritated, not, not giving a flying fuck, giving people your two cents and what's on your mind, which is fine, right? This is part of the work through. This is part of your process group too. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hate yourself. Don't chastise yourself, okay? Don't hold any shame or regret against yourself. If this is all igniting. It's going to fizzle out as quickly as it came in. So you can learn and then you're going to fall into the ebb and flow of things. This is the new beginning you're stepping into. Set your intention, okay? To follow your own rhythm. Set your intention to be malleable through change. Hunt. Heal. What is the hunt? What is the hunt? What is the hunt? Actually, I'm going to get the book out for that. Okay, so that is a hawk right there. <laughs> By the way, it's under hawk, not hunt. Took me a minute. Okay, so I'm going to read the shadow reading. The shadow reading of this card might draw your awareness to the figurative blinders or hood over your eyes, like a trained captive hawk, which may keep you from seeing the bigger picture. And look at this. She's, she's got stuff over her eyes, and we're reading the book meaning for this card. It is tunnel vision, inflexibility, and being ignorant of the needs of others. Oh, okay, we're going to nix that last part. You're not ignorant by no means, but there's tunnel vision that you've had on something. And maybe it's been resisting this change that's trying to come in. Something, I feel, I see somebody gripping something and like spirit, like taking your fingers off one by one to help you release it, okay? I'm looking at this excessive heat warning on my computer as well. The element with this is air, mistletoe, mice, or orchid. The stones you could use are amethyst, black tourmaline, smoky quartz. I've got some black tourmaline right here. So, <coughs> the spell work you could do is promoting focus on a singular task, finding lost things. Is one of the lost things maybe you need to tap back into your spirituality? Is one of the lost things you need to touch base with your physicality and your body. When's the last time you checked in with yourself, group two? This card may communicate that you will soon find something you once thought lost. It is a symbol of a successful hunt for something that has long eluded you. This is coming from past lifetimes as well, I'm hearing. Something that you thought you could never achieve. If you're using this reading to decide on a new course in life, now might be the time to try something you have always wanted to do but thought was out of your reach this all these dream wisdom in play dream a beautiful dream hold your dreams close to you don't be afraid to go towards it this card may also represent those born under the western zodiac sign of sagittarius those who do not seek will never find it though you will never know and take you until you decide to take that first step out right And then we've got Skull of Flowers, creating through the ashes. You're like the phoenix rising up, my love. Midnight is your witching hour. Midnight after hours, it's whenever all the stuff, the clarity comes through, right? Don't discount anything. Any final word. Pay attention to your environment, too. Clearing the clutter, cleansing it, cleansing energy, especially if you're buying, like, I heard yard sales. So if you're buying stuff from people's yard sales, make sure you're smudging anything that you buy that's secondhand or even anything new from the store because it, it goes through hands. The worker puts it on the shelf, the person before that has it in a box and they carry it to the store or whatever, right? Forgiveness, <clears throat> forgiving something in your environment, teaching and learning, forgiveness and leadership. Could be a boss situation too. And I'm noticing again with the activation and the generations ancestors. So this is all I have for you group two. Um, it's going to be alright though. You're going to be good. These dreams are beautiful. You're going to be birthing something into a creation. And it's going to be very whimsical too, I'm feeling. Very spiritual, whimsical, very passionate. <laughs> uh, it's going to be great for you. Um, this is all I have though. 
I hope it helped. Hope it resonated. If it did, hit the like and subscribe button for me, please. If you're still here with me, feel free to comment below what made sense to you or why. Or if there was a little, you know, aha moment for you, I'd love for you to share with me. Love and light. Group three. Look at you with this childhood, innocence, and fairies, and shape-shifting. Something magical. <laughs> Something very magical is going to come in for you with this landscape portal. That's crazy. Something is activating. It's your connection with fairies, some playful energy. You have gone through the process of shedding, releasing, and healing some inner emotional childhood trauma. You're given forgiveness where forgiveness was due. And I feel like I just had to get my other fairy message deck out. Maybe we were drawn to group two. They uh, had fairy messages as well, but from a different, a different oracle set. We have the clouds here, something shining through, something sh light shining on this fairy, light shining on this child. You could have a child who is connecting with fairies too, who's claiming to, well, they're not claiming, they are. If they're coming in and saying, oh my God, I saw a fairy or I talked to a fairy or, you know, an elemental or that that movie, uh, Bridge to Terabithia is coming to mind. And then there's another movie that's similar to that one. Maybe I'll think of it later, but might want to check those movies out. What do we have for group three from the fairies? This came over cloud shape-shifting. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. So I have since this came over shape-shifting, maybe you keep changing your mind back and forth, back and forth on what it is you want to do or how you want to do something. Son. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. Okay, again with the child coming in, connecting. Okay, it doesn't even have to be a little one. Okay, it's just somebody's uh, gifts and abilities are really opening and activating, skyrocketing, I heard. And then we've got perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. Maybe you're wanting to have a son. He's waiting to come to earth to meet you. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. And then we've got summer. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. So something significant before the summer ends. As I look over here at activation. So something about activations. Three more. There's a new home. Okay, I feel like those are the three. That one maybe. Okay. That's a lot for you. So a family, a new home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. Moving out of your childhood home or moving into back towards your childhood home or your stomping grounds, everything is okay. Don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. Your son, your children are very protected as they explore their worlds right now and they're learning how to make their own decisions or whatever. Your wish is granted. What you ask for is coming true. It's going to happen in perfect time in group three. So this is a breath of fresh air because this is very different than groups one or two. But groups one and two really um, kind of melded in with each other. Debt paid off. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from your life. And then we've got, you got the power. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. You can do it, group three. Debt, debt, debt. All debt is paid. This could be karmic debt as well. What's on the bottom of the deck? Flower power. Spend time, excuse me, spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. So aromatherapy coming in strong for you. What's the card next? Easy does it. Stops trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. With the dolphins here and the childhood, it's time to go play. Okay, it's time to, you know... Do something fun. Do something as a treat. Be Become a big kid again, group three. Because you've been going through the emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. And we mentioned that earlier with the childhood thing, okay? There could be something healing around a child too. Ask for what you want. Let the other universe and people know what you need. And then expect it to come true because it will come true for you, group three. We're going to go to Sacred Rebels next here. Wait, that's not Sacred Rebels, but that's okay. 
What is group uh, three? I almost called you group one. 3949 on the timer. Spirit self. Be who you are as you are. Got a lot of green here. Maybe you want to dye your hair a different color. That's cool. Be who you are as you are. And then we've got creative power. Standing in your creative power and sharing your creative power. 333 three, three here. 333. Three, three. Could have been drawn to all three groups. There's an abundance of creative power coming in for you. There's going to be birthing something into, into this life. Could literally be fixing to give birth to a son or you just give birth to a son. But like I said, well, I go also, if you're curious, look at her though, she's just beautiful. If you were curious, um, if kids were in the cards for you, it is, okay? <laughs> I love it. Wisdom at play here. Okay. I looked at this deck next. So, Lionsgate Portal. Something is going to be a catalyst for you, Group 3. Just know that it's all working out in a beautiful way, though. Everything is okay. Everything is A-OK, -okay, okay? There's no need to worry on how or when it's going to happen. Okay, we've got, yeah, having patience. You are not being tricked, okay? It's not too good to be true with trick and reverse. And then where something is being revealed, some sort of mystery is going to be revealed around you. Somebody who is very cunning or very sneaky, sly like a fox, okay? Uh, masks are coming off. Truths are being, light is sh being shed on the truth, okay? Protect. You're protected in stillness. Your children are protected. Again, you and your loved ones are safe. Am I recording? 4144 on the timer. So we had 444 in the number one. So 111 and 444. Coming to life. Something's coming to life. Your spirit life, <laughs> your spirit self is coming to life. Your higher self. You are integrating your higher self. You're integrating your inner child. You're learning to go with the flow with these. Connecting with spirit. Connecting with the things in our 3D reality though also that we need to take care of, right? Free from judgment, you are free to love. You are free from judgment now. She's green though, okay? You don't, you you are protected. Anybody throwing you the evil eye, it's gonna bounce right off of you and reflect back at them. Focus on the light, always. Not on vengeance or getting back or getting even. And then there's collaborative dreaming here too. Let me see what the deck is under that. Releasing allegiances. I think group one got those too. But you're going beyond normal. You could be dreaming something into being, but also dreaming about some creative ideas. Or maybe you dream. Here's an example they're giving me. You dreamt that you owned a store. And you were at work one day in your store. And there was a, a very detailed, descriptive conversation or you opened a book and there was a very detailed message or you could be seeing books in your dreams and then whenever you go to look in the book you can't it's either blurred out or it's like another language and you can't read it but these are like key codes for you that are being given to you in your sleep whoa group three you guys are powerful manifestors you don't realize how strong you are very empathic too something about a monkey as well Diving for light and focus on the light. I love this. Seahorses and sunflowers. The letters SS. And then look, we've got spirit self over here too. Number 37 and number 11. And then receiving. What are they receiving? What you want wants you. <clears throat> what you want wants you. What you've asked for is coming true. Use the abilities to resolve a situation. You can do it. Because you're leading a legacy of light, group three. <laughs> There's a power in attraction. There's power in law of attraction. You could be having visions, psychic visions, peacocks, ravens, owls. If you're not seeing them already, you'll be seeing them after this read. Again, with the inspiration. The perfection of your life is coming. Let's get the Halloween oracle. Because it's never too freaking early for Halloween, right? There's a raven in this card, this card too. She's wearing a beautiful cape here. Her hair kind of matches her cape. There's very sea greens, teals, blue greens in here. The camera does not do it justice, but 4433 on the timer. Could be, it's a master. You're becoming a master. You're a master in a lifetime. 
you're going to overcome something in this lifetime and you're going to perfect it. You're going to do what you set out to do in so many previous lifetimes. It's going to happen here in this lifetime. The light after the darkness. Come to life, painting yourself, painting the light back in, healing with your darkness, understanding your darkness, understanding your shadow side, and not being ashamed of it anymore and knowing, oh, we've got the black and white board back here. I, it's all about balance, our masculine, our feminine, our dark, our light. And even, I feel like for somebody here, it, there's this sense of balancing your dark and light within your masculine energy and then also balancing your dark and light within your feminine energy. And this is also affecting your people around you. Ancestors, the legacy of our DNA. And a black cat with fortune meets opportunity. With the veil on future, fortune meets opportunity. Something about this winter or by this winter, okay? The midnight hour is the most magical night of all. There's no reason to be scared of whatever you're sensing or seeing, okay? Spirit loves you and you are very protected. You're going to be exploring this wildness, this new sense of camaraderie I'm hearing, but also like your gifts. Your gifts. The veil is going to be lifted. Maybe that's why I felt drawn for the Halloween deck, right? Trying to figure out which cards I don't have here yet. Karmic completion, baby. That's coming right over love. Karmic completion. We had that debt is paid, right? Excuse me and my slurpee. I'm so sorry if that triggered you. Because you did the healing work, because you stood your ground, and you did what was right, you followed it, you followed your intuition, you did all the things, you passed all the tests, and for this, your ancestors are gaining you and giving you an activation with more fucking wisdom. And I just love this for you, my god. Teaching and learning through relationship changes, okay? Could be a change coming within your relationship. Don't fret, though. More love. Moderation. Time out. Communication, okay? New communication coming through. Perseverance. Yeah. I feel like I want to go back to the Halloween deck, so let's go ahead and pull another card. Skull of Flowers. Creating through the ashes. Something's coming to life for you. I don't want to end this. Protection with Jack o' Lantern. And then we've got the most magical hour of all. Again, you're protected, like I said, when you're noticing these entities or whatever, okay? Could be something with werewolves here too and mother spider? Mother, mo the mother or your mother and spider? I don't know. Community and web giving though. It does say community, so maybe something with your mom healing something. There's risk and reward. So whatever you're scared to vocalize or communicate, it's going to be okay. Grain of salt, I heard. They're going to take it with a grain of salt. <sighs> the dream. Group 2 had a lot of cards about the dream, but look, with that love and that relationship change, true love. She reminds me of Cinderella, right? Dreaming of her Prince Charming. Day coming in. Fall ya. Reignited a passion. Experiencing. Politics in reverse, all right? Like, it's like you're moving away from that matrix, I think is what we call it. You know, the politics, like, we can't control it. Sure, we can put our vote in, but after that, it's out of our hands, right? So there's no sense of worrying. It's like you're shedding something. And there's that snake right there, too. ordinariness and clinging to the past. There's an awareness of something. You're experiencing innate awareness of the masks that are in the government, the presidential stuff, the politics, all that, you know. I heard the word rapture as well. 
You're gonna be sharing information. Don't be scared to share this information, okay? Because you're you're a master at sharing. You're a master at communicating. Well, I really, group three really jives with me, guys. Playfulness. Let me know down below if this is resonating for you. Look, playfulness with the little clown. It's good to clown around. Clowns to the left of me, jokes to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. You can be playful. You can clown around. We can be, you know, <laughs> immature and inappropriate. But, uh, you know, then we have a side of us that's very mature. You're a very intense person. People receive you as a very intense person. This might be why you stay in isolation a lot. Because people don't know how to take you. They throw their own projections of you at you. And you can hear it. You can feel it. But you find totality within the people within your doors, okay? Strength going through this rebirth. And opening this new sense of an adventure. And no more burdens. Look at that. There's a break breakthrough in your creativity. Again with the creativity and lovers and breakthrough here. What? There's been a lot of talk about creativity and love. Did you, did you remember seeing that? See, look, right there. Relationship change, creativity, happy ending. And then that one card, it literally said love, right? And look, there's rebirth. Change, pride, leadership, love, partnership teaching and learning where is well you know patience yada yada right this is good though group three entering some things for your spiritual career starting some things up your your wish is granted there's new beginnings in your spiritual career there's a rebirth and imaginative things there is a rebirth in your creative endeavor your sacral chakra is going to blow wide open oh spirit we love you thank you for showing us the clear concise messages all right compromising working Realizing that things go both ways. King of Wands. Yeah, there's inspiration. Creativity coming through for you. Passion. This is all I have for you, Group 3. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped you in some form. Some way, shape, or form. If it did, hit the like and subscribe button for me. I greatly appreciate it. The more we do that and the more we share, then the more these messages can get out to other people. That's one thing you can do in helping us spread the love and light. Is helping to spread awareness and the messages, right? And if you would like a more personal in-depth read, my contact information is below, as well as there's like 500 videos on my channel under the playlist tab. I haven't been keeping up to date with putting everything over there, but I feel like you'd probably find something somewhere in there, a few somethings that could probably resonate. And please forgive me if I trigger you or offend you in any way, because in some of the earlier stuff, there are times where my ego was really riding full force on doing the reads there are times when my higher self is more present there's times where i'm very balanced between the two there's times where my inner child was more at play there's times when my inner masculine was at play in doing the reads so i too am on this learning healing ascension journey just as you are so if you are kind to me in my healing process and you have patience with me and understanding i shall have patience and kindness with you as well make sure to do your positive affirmations too Loves to you.